All right, thanks, Chris. Well, this week marks National Library Week, and libraries across the four states encourage you to pop in and grab a book or two and maybe thank the staff for everything they do for the community. Kay Williams, Carrie Worthen joins us live in studio this morning with more. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Tanya. This week not only celebrates books, but the people who work in libraries. The theme for National Library Week is there's so much more to the story. In stories filled libraries, floor to ceiling and wall to wall. From books to audiobooks, ebooks, and more, you can find your story at your local library. National Library Week is an opportunity for libraries uh, to uh, make connections with people. We celebrate libraries, we celebrate people that work in libraries, and of course we always uh, want to try to encourage more use of libraries by our local communities. Libraries are full of stories in a variety of ways, from books, audiobooks, ebooks, and more. We do everything from trying to tutor, provide information, literacy skills to people, uh, spaces for people to do the work, particularly our students as well as our faculty. The theme for National Library Week is there's so much more to the story. Pitt State's archivist Steve Cox knows just how much more. There's a, a lot here. Um, we've got a, a really large storage area where everything is kept in a climate controlled environment. But to really focus on some of the hidden collections that we have, we've got a very, very a large collection, two collections actually, of pulp science fiction books written in from the 40s up through the 90s. But our strengths are the political history of Southeast Kansas and the mining history. Cox has been with the library for the past eight years and is now retiring at the end of the school year ending this chapter, but starting a new one. My wife and I are going to do a lot of traveling. We've, we've done a lot of um, domestic traveling, but we're hoping to get overseas. Um, our first trip um, shortly after I retire is going to England and France. So we're looking forward to that. And if the only way you can travel is through books, Pitt State's Axe Library has just that for you. Axe Library is just a, is a great place to work. The library is open seven days a week and anyone from the public has access to it. Well, Carrie, when is the last time you read a good book? I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I have not made a priority to read. I'm so busy between work and kids and I like to be outdoors during the nice weather. I have not had time to read a good book. But you read with your kids. I do read, yes. So I, they like, you know, they like bedtime stories and I've read the Bible to them. Um, just I make up sometimes stories, so I guess I do read, just not uh, <laughs> adult books sometimes. <laughs> well, sometime we'll have to make time for ourselves and yes. read more. All right. 